Marco, good to hear your voice. I've been worried about you. Have you reached Amante yet? Well done. I want a full briefing at a later date. But right now, finding that radio tower is of the utmost urgency. The broadcasts we have been receiving from the unknown transmitter are becoming more alarming by the day. I... Well, we'll let you hear it for yourself. Yes, sir. One moment. Just let me... Are you tired of being weak? The victim? Then come to the new Citadel and leave that world behind. We will make you a modern man. Have human, have machine. Stripped of all your pain and frailty. You're born as a child of the Citadel. An evolved angel. Serving the God of the future. And what a future it will be. Soon, the whole world will be ours. And all of humanity be made in our image. Soon, your exterminating angels will be their nest and spread their wings west, north, and south. We will. Charming, ain't it? If these broadcasts aren't just the ravings of a madman, then there are threats beyond our map greater than any we ever dreamed of. These threats must be assessed and addressed, and quickly. I have no idea how long before these angels spread their wings, but if and when they do, we want to know which direction they're coming from. Rangers, the entire Citadel is counting on you. The entire territory. You must find that tower, and as soon as you damn well can. Now get going. Good luck. Ranger Command out. This would be a lovely town without the killer robots, of course.
somebody's been fighting robots here. So jealous. There's so much tech here. Get bored and fuck off eventually, you metal motherfucker. figure out the intercom? Well, you can't come in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Unless I hear a human hello, I ain't opening the door. Wait a minute, that sounded awfully real. Who's out there? Rangers? What are Rangers doing this far east? Huh, who the fuck cares? If you killed those robots, you are my new best friends. Come in, come in. I said, come in! Oh, the guy really does look like a werewolf. He's got big, thick gray hair and a big, thick beard with a big white smile blazing through it. I tell you, Rangers, you got here in the nick of time. One second more, those metal motherfuckers would have blown down my house like the big, bad wolf. You have my eternal thanks, and also beer if you want. It's in the fridge. Damn straight, I don't know what happened exactly, but all of a sudden, all those dead robots that have been rusting out in the airplane graveyard just got up on their little metal feet, good as new, tippy-toed into Demonte, and started killing everybody in sight. Goddamn creepy is what it is. Just north of here. Might have been a military facility back in the day. Now, it's a scavenger's dream. Acres of rusty old tech just waiting to be explored. Even supposed to be a missile silo back there somewhere. Get a lot of traders coming to DeMonta to collect scrap metal, engines, etc. But this robot business is going to put the kibosh on that. That's what I've heard. Supposed to be booby trapped, though. Very few who go in there ever come back alive.
then, you must be packing a pretty powerful tower back at, uh, what's it called? Ranger Center? Your dispatcher comes in pretty clear when the weather's right. Uh, what now? Uh, wads and horsecock what? Oh, for triangulation. Well, why didn't you say so in the first place? Well, as long as it doesn't interfere with me bringing the music to the people, go ahead. Wait a second. What am I saying? DeMonta's got a problem, and you seem like a group of problem solvers. How about you well-armed individuals doing DeMonta a little favor before I let you pass my fancy lot? So grandiose when you put it that way, Ranger Teeth. Excellent. Here, take the key. So, uh, how about our problem? As you might have noticed, uh, we've got a bit of a robot problem. Now, I'm sure you cleared out a fair number of them getting here, but more and more keep coming out of the airplane graveyard, and I'm afraid that even if you kill all the ones in town, soon as you leave, we're gonna be infested all over again. So me and all the surviving citizens of DeMonta would sure appreciate if you cats uh, went in there and found out what's been sending all those robots to kill us. And when you do find it, uh, we'd just be tickled pink if you was to blow it straight to Kingdom Come. <laughs> what do you say? Groovy! And listen, that place is a scavenger's dream. An enterprising group such as yourselves could probably find enough prime tech in there to make the fight worthwhile. I hear there's even an old missile silo back there somewhere with all kinds of treasure. It's a dangerous place, but you're dangerous folks. I'm sure you'll manage. You'll find the entrance to the graveyard just past the El Saigon Diner. Dave Barnes said he thought he heard noises coming out of the old hangar near there. Rock on, brothers and sisters! Locked in and holding steady. Triangulating now. Location is 34 degrees, 8 minutes, and 2.77 seconds north. 118 degrees, 19 minutes, and 18.10 seconds west. Hmm. That would put it at... Good God. Can this be right? This, this reading is in California. I didn't think California still existed. Well, I'll be goddamn. Uh, Rangers, unless you've got extremely urgent business where you are, I want you to return to base ASAP. You are being reassigned. Copy? Robots? Why is it always robots these days? All right, Echo One, do what you need to do, but get back here as soon as you're done. Don't stop to smell the flowers. You read me? Roger, Echo One. See you soon. Ranger Command out.
Damn, look at that. <sighs> Missed out on another robot fight.
I hear robots. What villain has turned these robots against mankind?
copy, Echo One. Echo One, your team's recent progress merits a number of field promotions. Congratulations, Echo One. You've done well. on you fucking machines I'll cut you into scrap
I could really use a bigger wrench.
It's open. That was awesome. Thanks for saving our asses, amigos. We owe you big time. I'm Hopi, and that's my wife, McGee back there at the bench. We ain't accustomed to being damsels in distress, but when Big Betty broke down, we had to fall back to a pipe wrench, and I'll be honest, it just wasn't cutting it. Now that was McGee's wedding gift to me. I always wanted a hot rod, and now I've got one. Of course, we're having some trouble fixing that, too. Engine's completely rusted out. We were gonna go into the graveyard and see if we could find a replacement, but that's kinda out of the question now. We call him Jaime. Well... It ain't my real name, but that's what folks call me. 100% full-blooded Hopi Indian. Yep, her and me went to the Temple of Titan and asked those crazy priests to marry us. I figured the best place to get hitched to a bombshell like Mags was in a place where they worship an atomic bomb. <laughs> her real name's Bernice McGee, but I call her McGee because, well, who the hell would want to be called Bernice? Around the garage, she's in charge of engine repair, electronics, etc. I take care of paint, bodywork, and upholstery. Our machine gun. She was running just fine when this robot riot got started. But she jammed, and her trigger mechanism went bluey. McGee's trying to kit bash a fix, but we really need parts. Say. You folks wouldn't happen to have a spare gun we could strip. Anything with a trigger. McGee can jigger the bits to fit. He was my wedding gift to McGee. She always wanted a robot, so I dragged him out of the graveyard and brought him home. Still can't get him running, though. Some problem with his brain, we think. started a couple of days ago. No idea what the story is, but all of a sudden, robots started pouring out of the airplane graveyard and attacking everybody in town. Mass murderer or not, I gotta hand it to whoever's getting the fuckers up and running. McGee and I pulled old Jaime out of the graveyard two years ago, and we still can't make him go. McGee knows mechanics. I know metalwork. Neither of us knows computers, so we were kind of shit out of luck. Tell you what, you get him running, you can keep him. After the robot attacks, we're not so hot on him anymore. Kind of afraid he's gonna wake up and kill us in our sleep. Our local beauty spot. An abandoned airport, I guess. People come from all around to scavenge from metal and parts. There were dead robots lying all over the place out there. Now, they just woke up. I've got a couple of things.
Anything else, Rangers? Thanks again for the save. Stupid and good God, luck out there. What's wrong with her? Oh, hey, thanks for helping Hopi take out those robots. If you hadn't have shown up, we would have been reduced to throwing wrenches at him. If you need any repairs, you got it. No charge. We owe you for the rescue. Big Betty, our machine gun. She's worked fine for years, but of course, just when we need her most, her trigger assembly goes to hell. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have a gun you'd be willing to trade for. Any gun would do. I just need something with a working trigger. She's my husband. Hard on the outside, soft and sweet on the inside. Kind of the opposite of me. No idea. All of a sudden, they just started coming out of the airplane graveyard and attacking everybody. It's like somebody flipped a switch. Makes me afraid old Jaime back there is gonna wake up. It's an old military airstrip to the north of here, filled with junked planes and dead robots. At least, they were dead. Excellent! Oh, yes! That'll work! Great, great, one second. There we go! All yours. Go on and introduce her to those damn robots. Come on back if anything needs fixing. My mom would love these chicks. <laughs> 